And I'm going to show you my all-time favorite eye products and palettes. Most of you have seen me haul these, but I got two new Urban Decay palettes today in the mail, and I'm super excited to show you. So, first I'm going to show you the other ones, and I'll save those two best for last. <clears throat> so, favorite tried and true um, eye products that I have and, like, cannot go without now is what we're doing today. Okay, so first and foremost, when it comes to our eyes, we prime. The Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion is the only way to go with this. <clears throat> I have so many of these and samples of these and little mini sizes of these, but this is a full size. This is an absolute must-have. If you're going to take the time to put eyeshadow on, use a primer. It is so worth the money. So worth it. <clears throat> Let me show you. This is an eye without primer. This is an eye with primer. Now what would you rather have? If you're going to invest your money into makeup and invest your time into putting it on and trying to do something that you really like, make it last, make it not crease and get all yucky. Primer potion. Amazing. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to go and show you my favorite eyeliner and mascara, and then we'll get to the palettes. Um, my favorite eyeliner ever is by Benefit. It's called That Gal. On one end, it has the awesome little smudger brush. And on the other end, it has the eyeliner. It is an amazing, um, really nice dark black color. It, it's wonderful. It stays on. It's waterproof. It, as you can see, smudges very easily with the smudger. But that's just when you first apply it. Once it's been on for like a few seconds, it seals. This is amazing. I love it. Second best would be um, by Urban Decay, and that's the 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. This is in Perversion, which is like the blackest black I've ever seen in my life. Right there. And then I also have that one, which is brand new, in Whiskey, which is a um, nice brown. So I have two of the Urban Decays. Okay. Favorite eyeliners, that gal, and 24-7 from Urban Decay. Next for mascara, <clears throat> this is just the most incredible mascara I've ever seen before. It's by Benefit, and it's called They're Real. And it's got this, like, crazy wand. I mean, it's similar to a lot we've seen in drugstores, but it's a very large wand. And on the edge, it's got this little ball. And there's little spikes coming out of it. And it's for those inner lashes and for the ones on the bottom. And it, this just works so well. You can look up pictures and look up before and afters. You can look at a woman's eye like before she puts this on and look at it after, and it looks like she has on false eyelashes. It is amazing. It takes one coat, you're good to go, and this is waterproof. Like, it does not come off unless you use makeup remover. As a matter of fact, that's the only thing I don't like about it is because sometimes it's even hard to come off with my makeup remover. But that just means it's super good, staying where it's supposed to be. I love this. Love it. My first like obsession product that was not drugstore was this right here. And it's called the Brow Wiz and it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I never used to know the value of filling in your brows. Now like I cannot not fill in my brows. Now I'm obsessed with it and like the first thing I notice on people is their eyebrows and whether it like matches their hair color or whether like it's their brows need to be like groomed or whether they're filled in like I don't even mean to but like that's the first thing my eyes go to now I'm like obsessed about it so it's just this little twisty guy up here mine is in the shade caramel and you just lightly fill in your brows you can do it lightly or you can do it darker but I recommend lightly because the lighter you go the easier it fills in now on the other end there's this little wand, which is great because you can groom your brows with it, 
but it also helps remove some if you got too much. So let's say you got too much in this area. Just go over it a little bit and it can remove it. It also shapes them. Let's say you got too heavy in one area, you wanted to remove some, you can lighten them. I love it. Um, again, Ulta. So now we're, oh, one more thing. Okay, this is called High Beam, and I actually forgot to talk about this in my foundation. This is my highlighter. Um, this is by Benefit, and they call it Supermodel in a Bottle. It has many different uses. Um, for what I use it for, I do it, I dot it along my cheekbone, and then do little circles and pat, and it adds that, like, highlight. I do it on my inner corners. I didn't today. And I you do it on my brow bone. Again, I didn't today, but I usually do. You can also do it on the inside area of your nose here to make your nose look slimmer. And you can also do it... Well, I don't need that much. Right there. To give your lips more of that, like, pouty, dewy, pouty... I don't know, whatever it's called. I just think it makes my lips look fuller, and I love to do that. I think it's like a cute little trick. So, yeah. This is actually like one of my all-time favorite products ever. I love it. It's called High Beam, if I didn't already say that. I do it under my brow bone. I do it in my tear ducts. I do it here, and I do it on my cheeks. It's the best highlighter ever. <clears throat> okay. Time for the danger zone. My palettes. I don't even have many of them, but I have like, let me see, okay. Like 250 to $300 worth of palettes here. It's ridiculous. So my first one is one I've had for like a really long time and it's so beat up. Um, <clears throat> this one's called Too Faced and it's a natural eye palette. You guys have probably all seen these before. This one has been very loved, especially Honey Pot. I'm almost at fan on that. So it's got all different colors. It's got a couple, three matte, and the rest are shimmer. It's got a couple glitters, but tried and true. It's a great neutral. This is a great highlighting color, too. Um, up here, there's all these little cards that you can pull out. And it gives you like little mini tutorials on different looks that you can achieve with this palette. And there's like a bunch of them, so that's cool. <clears throat> then we go on to my favorite brand ever for eyes. Um, Benefit's my favorite brand for facial products and things like that, but Urban Decay is where it's at for eyeshadow. So the first palette I got was Naked 2 by Urban Decay. I love it so much. I'm just going to show you guys quick. I'm not going all the way through because I've shown you these in my haul videos before. Then I have the Smoked palette, which just came out in July, and it's great. It's amazing. I love it. And then I have the two that just came to me in the mail today. So, first, the little one. This is the Roller Girl palette. Um, yeah, ooh, I hate when I do that. So it's got the little roller skates. See, this is in the clearance section right now for, I believe, $11 on Urban Decay in the sale area. So if you like this, go hit it up now while it's still there. So you open it up, and you have four shadows and an eye shadow. I'm trying to get good lighting here for you. So the first color is this really pretty pink color, and it's called Woodstock. Then you have Verve, Suspect, and Dark Horse. And Dark Horse is just a pretty, um, a really pretty brown. There's Dark Horse. Suspect, Verve, and Woodstock. Look at Woodstock, seriously. You can get crazy with that. I have a little bit of it on today, but lightened it. 
So those are great. And you can even just use those three for like an easy neutral look for a tiny palette to throw in your purse or whatever. And it comes, you know, it's got the little mirror and it comes with um, the 24-7 Urban Decay Liner and Whiskey, the brown that I showed you up here. I'm going to take that out and put it by my eyeliners. I never keep the things in here that I'm supposed to keep in. So I know that I have Bourbon Suspect already in my Naked 2 palette, but I just thought that Dark Horse and Woodstock were such like unique, fun colors. And I love this idea of little palette to just put in my purse and not have to carry around a big one. So while this was on sale, I happily snagged it. Now the bad boy. I know I'm so bad. Okay, so, you ready? Ta-da! Urban Decay loves New York City. This lights up. I don't know if you guys can see the lights, but it lights up. And it has got so much detail in it. It's crazy. And a mirror. So, do I think that this is all necessary? <laughs> Probably not. Um, unfortunately, it makes it be a much larger palette than I would like. It's not as convenient to bring around with you as something like this or something like this, you know. But it holds a lot of colors and, you know. Also, I just noticed this today. On the back, it says, we don't do animal testing. How could anyone? And I just thought that was so awesome. I knew, I knew they didn't test any animals, but I just thought that was so cute that they wrote that. I don't think they put that on everything, do they? No, they don't. Super cute. Love it. I think that was really nice. So now, that opens up like this. And I think that's super pretty and dramatic and fun. But I also think it was a huge waste of paper. So then you pull this little ribbon. And this is the Book of Shadows version 3. Um, look at that. 16 eyeshadows, guys. 16. I love this for the blues, for the green, for the purple. For the, I mean, especially like those other shades. Um, it's got a couple repeats for me. Like, I have Rockstar in my Smoky palette. I have YDK in my Naked palette. I think that's only, I have smog, but still, those are all colors that I like. Um, this is, I'll tell you the colors best I can here. This is Oil Slick, Uzi, Stray Dog, Mildew, Midnight Cowboy Riding, Rides Again, SWF, Last Call, Rockstar, um, height? I don't know. It's really pretty. Maui Wowie, Aquarius, Smog, Goddess. Look at Goddess. You ready? Hold on. Goddess is kind of shimmery. Sin, YDK, and Ecstasy. And they're all, like, I could swatch any of them and show you. They're all beautiful colors. Mildew. I have to show you Mildew. Look at that green. I love it. So it also comes with yet another primer potion. I have so many of these now, it's ridiculous. And a 24-7, um, I can't get it out, but you guys can see it. The one I already showed you, that eyeliner. Comes with one another one of those. So 16 shadows, this is on clearance at urbandecay.com right now for I believe $30. And it was originally 55 to 60. So, these are both on clearance. Get them while you can. Once this is gone, you cannot buy it ever again except on eBay, um, where people are stock buying them right now to sell for a fortune, and there's no need for that. So, I really think that this is a great palette. Um, it is heavy and a little clunky, and I'm not crazy about this display, although it's cute for the wow factor, but it's definitely a collector's item. Urban Decay, make a Chicago palette. <laughs> Urban Decay loves Chicago. So yeah. Um, so those are my palettes right here. 
And I hope you guys like this, and I will see you soon. Bye.